Hey everyone, welcome to my home and welcome to my channel, The Ginger Can. My name is Brian and today I have I got a treat for you because it's a real treat for me. A while back, one of my wife's friends came over and she gifted me something very special and she didn't know that I've had it before because no, I've never talked about this. She gifted me file fish flakes. Normally this will be packaged in a large sheet. These are cut up into bite-sized chunks which makes my life a lot easier because normally you'd have to cut this up. So, Brian, what is file fish? Well, it's a very thin fish that lives in the Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean. It's a subtropical fish and it's very, very thin. It's also called leatherbacks or shingles because of how flat it is. Now, it's not a bottom feeder like, say, like a halibut. It's, an, it's like a, a reef fish and it's normally served as like a jerky. The way I'm going to prepare it today is the way it was served to me the first time I was introduced to it and I fell in love with it. I, I get told that it's not the traditional way, that's not how Koreans eat it. It's the way it was served to me in a Korean place, so I'm going to cook this in a very spicy sauce because I like spicy things. To start this off, we're going to need a couple of things. First, obviously, we need the file fish. Some garlic, soy sauce, honey, brown sugar, sesame oil, gochujang or hot pepper paste. Mayonnaise, if you have it, it's not necessary, but we happen to have it and we need to use it, so it's going in. It's, it's okay. And then rice wine. Now, this could be normal mirin or whatever my wife bought, uh, masul. That's all you need, and this cooks fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare everything in the bowl, and then I'll bring the camera around, and I'll show you two ways to cook this, the traditional Korean way, as I'm told which is super simple. And then we're gonna add the sauce to that. So stick with me. Now, as I said, this is super fast. In fact, the bulk of the time is getting all the ingredients out and getting it together. So with that, we're gonna add, so I'm gonna take five cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put them in my garlic press and crush them because that brings out the most flavor and spice. And I crush them into the bowl so I get the garlic juice. You take some gochujang, we need about half a tablespoon, a little bit more. And if you've never seen any of my videos, all of my measurements are incredibly precise. Okay, that's about a tablespoon. If you don't like it spicy, reduce the amount. So we need about one tablespoon of mayonnaise. And again, this is completely optional. It adds a little bit of creaminess to it, but if you have it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. Need about a half tablespoon of honey. All right, need about a teaspoon of soy sauce. All right, need about a teaspoon if you're cooking wine, mirin, or whatever I have. And as far as I can tell, the only difference between this and mirin is this uses red uh, or apple cider vinegar, so it has a little bit of tartness to it. Uh, that's the only difference that I can tell between the two. Need about a tablespoon of sesame oil, and we need a teaspoon of brown sugar. And then you mix it all together. This is all mixed together. I'm gonna to put this stuff away and then I'll bring the camera around and then we'll get to cooking. Again, this happens really fast, so don't blink. All right, I got everything flipped around. I've got my pan heating up. It took me longer to separate the silly little flakes because they're all pressed together than it is gonna to take to cook this. So if you get the large sheets, you only need four or five sheets. It's about a pound. I have about a pound of the flakes. So I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna take some handy dandy cooking spray. Spray the pan, get it prepped. And then as I add the file fish, I'm gonna spray that too, and then you're just gonna cook it real fast. It doesn't take long at all. Couple minutes, keep flipping it around. And then you're gonna take it out, add the sauce, heat the sauce up a little bit, and then add the fish back to the sauce and then mix it all together and it's practically done. Let's get to that. You want to keep this moving so that it doesn't burn. I really like watching the way it dances in the pan. It's kind of mesmerizing. Okay, we're pretty much to the smoke point here. I've got a lot of nice color going on. Really crispy bits. So I'm going to put this into a bowl and then I'm going to throw the sauce on. I'm going to drop the heat a lot. 
because I need the pan to cool down too. So there's my bowl. Throw it in real fast. Hurry up. Oh, I tell you what, this brings back some good memories. Oh, that smell. Instantly, I recognized it. Now, I'm told the traditional way to eat this is just to pan and fry it and put it on a plate and you're done. Let me get this plated up, move the camera back, and we'll close up this video. So there we have it. It's on the plate. If you want to get fancy, you want to garnish it, take a, cut, a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, sprinkle them on top, and ta-da, you made it pretty. And this really takes me back. It's been a long time since I've had this. Uh, just the smell alone, like I said before, took me back to a really good time in my life. I got introduced to a lot of good food. I had a, you know, good friends. We had this, we had soju, because you need soju when you're eating spicy food. Some fried mushrooms, uh, all the different Korean sides, kimchi of course, radish, bean sprouts, spinach, it, it, the whole nine yards. If you've been to a Korean restaurant, then you, then you know what I'm talking about. This really takes me back and it's time for a taste test. And forgive me if I tear up a bit. That is perfect. Just the right amount of heat for me. It was about a tablespoon instead of a half tablespoon for the red pepper paste gochujang. But uh, yeah. And personally for me, the sesame seeds don't add anything. There's sesame seeds. I got sesame oil already in this mix. So thank you for watching. This has been a ginger can. My name is Brian. And we made a... Korean snack. It's not really a main dish. Don't don't treat this like a main dish. Although this looks like a, this could be a main dish for me. I could probably eat all of this right now with a little bit of rice. We don't have any soju, but that's okay. It's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. But I could definitely eat a lot of this. I'll put links to where you can find some of this down below. There are going to be Amazon affiliate links. So if you buy it from there, you don't pay any more, but it does help out the channel a little bit. So there's that. If you're new to the channel and just found me, please subscribe. I've done a lot of cooking videos. I've done a lot of house maintenance and, and upgrades and DIY stuff. If you're into that, great. Give me a subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so that you know when I put up new videos. It's typically every Saturday. I try to keep to a regular schedule, but life happens. So it may be difficult for me sometimes. And I appreciate it if you give me that thumbs up, give me that like. That shows YouTube that this is worth watching and might get some exposure to new people, which is great. And if you want to try this or you've had this or I'm not a traditional Korean and you want to comment down below, go ahead and do that. That's okay too. I appreciate it all. That's all I got for you in this video. My mouth is watering really, really badly. I want to eat this and I'm not going to have you watch me do that. So I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.